showing you basically how to um, make like kind of a hat with a model and stuff so what you want to do is um, just make a little hat so I'm just gonna make like a simple one here um, um, let's see and And that, I guess, will be a hat. I don't know. Give me a second. I know what to do. There. There. And there. And shrink. Okay. Um, okay. Give me a second here. This needs to be a top hat. And it doesn't really look like a top hat. There we go, okay. So then you don't really need to color it because it's not gonna keep the color. So yeah, then what you're gonna do, so once you have the model you want, um, you're gonna select all and in um, the you're, you're going to need to have the um, Explorer tab open, and in the Explorer you need to right-click it. Now, for some reason, the pop-up menu doesn't show up for the recordings for me, so... But, um, so there's going to have a bunch of different options. You're going to want to go to the very bottom. One up from the bottom, it says Export Selection. You're going to click that, and it's going to ask you like what you want to name the file and stuff so you can name that whatever you want I'm just gonna name it top hat like that here so now once it's saved um yeah so then you're gonna go to the workspace go to the explorer again put your mouse over the thing that says workspace and press the plus button a pop-up menu is going to pop up. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but you're going to want to go to search object and look up for accessory. Once you find that, you need to click it, and now you have the accessory in your thing. Now, you also want to press the plus on the workspace again, except this time look up mesh, mesh part. Once you find mesh part, you gotta click it, put it in. Now you're gonna have this strange block. Now what you need to do, um, you're gonna need to have the properties tab open. And you're gonna go down, it's gonna give you a bunch of options. You need to go down to mesh ID, and press this little button right here. And it's gonna open up the files tab for some reason it doesn't show it won't show it for you but you just need to like find it in your files so yeah and then it has a pop-up your mesh contains location data would you like to move your mesh to the given location i you, you can press yes then it gives you another thing i don't know you can just press ok and it's gonna load in your mesh that you've made your hat right there now you can basically um color it to be whatever you want i'm just gonna make it black so that's what you have so far and now you need to go there's a specific plugin you need to get so it you might already have it but if you don't it's called the rig builder and you just need to it might have auto downloaded though so you just need to Click it, it gives you pop-up, what kind of rig you want. I'm just going to do a block rig because it's easiest. Now you need to go in to its thing in the um, Explorer tab. So you need to go down until you find head, open that up, 
then copy so and now go to hat attachment see it says hat attachment right here so you need to right click it and then it has the bunch of pop it has the pop-up menu that you can't see for some reason for my thing so second from the top it says copy you need to copy it and then you need to go back to your hat that you made and you need to right click it um third from the top it says paste into you need to paste that into there and you need to position it to where you want it to be um i think it should be right about there so um yeah right about there looks good so once you have that um now um basically what you need to do you need to rename the mesh part um you need to rename the mesh part handle with a capital H like that right there um now what you're gonna do you're gonna drag and drop that into the accessory now what you want to do drag and drop the accessory into the dummy and it should go onto its head like that now if it's not all the way on his head you just gotta take it out drag it back into workspace and move the hat attachment a little bit on the thing move the hat attachment inside of the mesh so i'm gonna move that like there now put the accessory back into there and that looks good so you need to make sure that your hat is in the workspace um then you go to server script service and add a script like that you're gonna copy this thing in um so right